after Travis Kelsey violated the three strike rule, you know, Swift, Bud Light, and Pfizer. <laughs> Mr. Aaron Max Rogers came out and roasted his ass. Wait, cause I'm gonna burn this motherfucker down. <laughs> That's gold, Jerry. Go. Kelsey responded in a new ad what? for Kleenex. <laughs> I'm Jazz Bergonzo and this Brilliant! is what's next. What's up, everyone? Jazz Bergonzo, what's next? Your daily. How are you guys feeling today on this Saturday? Yes, this is the weekend edition. I didn't get a chance to jump on this uh, when it first hit, but uh, the whole situation with Travis Kelsey and Aaron Rodgers. But um, maybe a little late to the party, but I'm still going to give you my two cents. Travis Kelsey. Well, we've all seen the videos, the memes of him getting ripped to shreds for dating one Taylor Swift. And of course, the NFL grabbing both ankles and taking it without KY, you know, because of Taylor Swift. So, But he just didn't do that. He doubled down. Let me sign with Bud Light. He doesn't add. But he's not done yet. Let me triple down. I'm going to sign with Pfizer. Pfizer. Excuse me, Pfizer, really. Pfizer. And, uh, you know, I can do two things at once. Well, you had those who weren't just going to let this pass. Aaron Rodgers was one of them. And uh, in one of the greatest comments to slam against Big Pharma, and of course, as we all know, Aaron Rodgers is no fan of Big Pharma. Basically, he is saying the Vax, you know, for the last few years, now, don't get me wrong, he was forced to take it because of the NFL's, quote, mandates, job risk, which, I, of course, I highly doubt because he was Aaron Rodgers, you know, future Hall of Famer and all. But um, we're going to have fun with this. Let's take a look. This comes out of Breitbart. Travis Kelsey responds to Aaron Rodgers saying he's 1,000% comfortable with being called Mr. Pfizer. Oh, isn't that nice? Kansas City Chiefs star Travis Mr. Swift Kelsey, yes, he's now known as Mr. Swift, has replied to New York Jets quarterback Aaron Rodgers' jab about the former signing on a as a pitchman for the latest Pfizer Koof vaccine, says he's 100% comfortable being labeled as Mr. Pfizer. So we went from 1,000 to 100. Well, the confidence is not there as we thought it was. The jab over the jab was delivered on October 3rd when Aaron Rodgers, well known as a coronavirus, um, sorry, the Koof vaccine critic, joked that Kelsey had become Mr. Pfizer for having elected to become Pfizer's pitchman for Big Pharma in the newest Koof vaccine. And uh, take a listen, shall we? There's some sort of moral victory out there that we hung with the, you know, with the champs and and that, uh, you know, our defense played well and, and you know, Pat didn't have a crazy game and uh, you know, Mr. Pfizer, we kind of shut him down a little bit. He didn't have, you know, his, like, crazy impact. I love it. Absolutely love it. Um, that was important for us. Uh, offensively, you know, we, we got... We McAvee got couldn't help go, himself. But I felt like McAvee, we a lot of and, uh, But we got to keep sticking together. And, McAvee, and I felt like the His partner, man. Game, his partner was uh, just like... You know, did a good job of taking accountability, especially Zach and... But yeah, McAfee kind of did see his season. whole life at ESPN flash before his eyes. Um, Kelsey was asked about Rodgers hit this during Friday's presser, but the Chiefs star took it in stride. Quote, I thought it was pretty good, Kelsey said laughing. I mean, uh, with that stash right now, I look like a guy named Mr. Pfizer. Who knew I'd get into the Vax Wars with Aaron Rodgers, man? Mr. Pfizer versus the Johnson & Johnson family over there, he added. Of course, as we all know, the Johnson & Johnson family owns the Jets. And of course, for those who don't know, the Johnson & Johnson jab was the least effective at 64%. Of course, as we all know, it's all trash now. <laughs> I thought it was pretty good. I mean, with the stash right now, I look like a guy named Mr. Pfizer. Um, who knew, who knew I'd get into the Vax Wars with Aaron Rodgers, man? It's, it's, Mr. Pfizer versus uh, the Johnson & Johnson family over there, man. 
and how that landed with a thud. But Kelsey, it says that he took the vaccine to keep his family safe. I got it because, you know, keeping my family safe, keeping my family safe, the people in the building. So yeah, I stand by 1000% fully comfortable with him calling me Mr. Pfizer, Kelsey said with a smile. Kelsey has been the laser like focus on the media doing his dalliance with pop star Taylor Swift. Yes, Taylor Swift and her next, uh, well, her many concubine. Anyway, and even the NFL has been all in for the couple, much to dismay of thousands, or shall I say millions of NFL fans. In fact, it's all been a bit too much, even for Kelsey. He feels the NFL is overdoing it by injecting Taylor Swift into its football coverage. <laughs> The fact of the matter is, is that uh, Rodgers has been a total savage the whole time. The whole time during the COOF pandemic, Rodgers has been on McAfee's show and has just roasted Big Pharma, has called out the efficacy of the vax, has taken other therapeutics to get him back onto the field, just as Joe Rogan did. And of course, whenever Rogers gets too close, you know, to the Overton window sun, McAfee is just looking like, shit, I may need to find another job. Of course, the question will go down is whether McAfee is going to throw his friend Aaron Rodgers under the bus and stand by ESPN's woke mandates or just let him ride. But the fact of the matter is, is that Rogers is gold. That is a gold comment. It's gold, Jerry. That's exactly what that comment was. It was gold. And for Kelsey, he took it in stride. Um, I expected a lot of whining and crying. And I'm sure in closed circles or, you know, behind closed doors, uh, he is going, um, what the have I gotten myself into? Exactly. But um, it's all fun until someone gets hurt. And then that's when Pfizer steps in. I'm Jazz Gonzo. This is what's next. Want to see more like this? Please leave a comment below. Like it, share it, subscribe to it. Hit that notification bell so you guys never miss a thing. And we'll see you next time. Peace.